So welcome back, you know, to my second episode on credit card system as a spring state machine. And uh, I'm going to share you, first we do a recap of what we did last time. And uh, if you see this diagram, uh, it shows you the different states. If you remember last time we did talk about uh, a case, uh, uh, we talked more about the credit card system, how do we recognize and how the credit card system as a transaction works. I, I think I'm going to share the screen once again uh, about the credit card system. We recognized how a payment is done using credit card and what are the different states here? So first we have authorization, then we have authentication, and then we have clearing and settlement, right? So recognize those states. And then what we did is that we started, we coded a class, which is, the credit card states. So these are the states, right? Acquisition, pre-authorization, post-authorization, confirmation, transaction, approval, settlement. Let's present this, you know, through a diagram. So this is what we have. We have acquisition, we have pre-authorization, we have post-authorization, we have confirmation. So I want to show this simultaneously to you. So that's why, you know, I want to do a switching screen switching. Uh, so you see the states now. Let's go back to our class. So in the class, you have acquisition. This is the state. You have pre-authorization, which is another state. You have post-authorization, which is another state. You have confirmation, which is another state. You have transaction approval, which is another state. You have settlement, which is another state. So we define the states of the class here. Then we define the events. So these are the events which we have requiring pre-authorized, post-authorized confirmation, transaction approval settlement. Now, as I said that to go from one state to another state, you need to transition to the state for which you need a event. So from transition from acquisition to pre-authorization, we need pre-authorized an event. From transition from pre-authorized to post-authorization, we need event which is post-authorized. From post-authorization to confirmation, we need event which is confirmment. From confirmation to transaction approval, we need another element which is transaction approval. From transaction approval to settlement, we need another even which is settlement. But how do I define this? Where do I define this? So that is where you know you have the credit card configuration. Do you see this in the diagram? Uh, that if I have to transition from acquisition to pre-authorization, I do this through the pre-authorized event. But first things first, uh, so how do we define a, how do we configure a state machine that you extend to state machine configure adapter, which you see here. And uh, If you have to go from acquisition to pre-authorization, you need to have pre-authorized event, right? So if you have to go from here, you see, right? I'm defining my source state as acquisition and target state as pre-authorization and that will be transitioned with the help of the event, credit card events. So I define this way until here, I define my initial state. Now comes the main topic, which is subject is payment. Maybe trying to do the payment of an item, right? because we're going to buy it. So if, if we need to do that, we need to have a domain 
the subject part you're talking about is payment. So this is your payment class, which is having an ID and which is having a credit card state and which is having an amount. So I'm not going too deep in this two episodes. In the next episode, we're going to talk about how to fire these events. And in the third episode, the actual things start. You need to start seeing the, the core of the implementation. So stay tuned if you like this episode, to subscribe for this channel and you know press the like button. Thank you.